All right, so we're here in uh, Hashburg, Mississippi, and got called out to do a cutout in this old house. And the one we, the hive we found, was in the the west wall beside the chimney. But just walked up and noticed that there's another hive in the front wall. Didn't even know about it. It's gonna be a two for one, double dipper, maybe. Depends on how. How bad the inside of the house is. Hey, I thought you said there was no bathroom facilities here. Yeah. Be careful where you're stepping. I can feel the floor sinking under me. Yeah, it makes a difference when you're over 250. Who? Me? <laughs> so the hive is in this wall where the board's laying Right here. All right. I'm gonna say the famous last words. This looks easy enough. <laughs> it's paneling, it shouldn't be a big problem. Yeah, this is gonna be an easy one. Oh, we got bees. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to the EPA and OSHA and. Uh, yeah, this old house is <laughs> full of lead. They told us just go on ahead. So no problem. This old house, I thought you were talking about Norm. <laughs> Knob. Hey, we already broke in. <laughs> you got comb on that piece you're pulling off. It's got two pieces of new comb on it. Looks like in part of the mm -hmm. old. Yeah, well, I got wow. a piece already, got cat brood all around here you can see it's darker towards the center and as the further you can go out it gets lighter color and you can see uncapped larvae down here and if you go even further down you can see eggs there's an egg in that cell there so I trimmed the, I trimmed the bottom edge of that uh, comb off make it flat, flush at the bottom and I use this along the top measure. I'm trying not to cut any bees as I go so as not to disturb them too much. Make it quick, we only got two hours of daylight. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna slide this all the way to your left. Greg! Where's your soup, man? I know, I need it. <laughs> Not necessarily, but you're doing pretty good. I got this set. You want to put this, you want to put this comb section to the, as far to the edge as you can, because the bees will attach it all the way around the sides and basically mend it. And you got to keep it vertical like it was in the hive. Yeah, because the combs, the cells are built on like a 17 degree angle on either side of the center line. If you turn it upside down, stuff will start rolling out. Why don't you go ahead and straighten up that bent piece so they don't cross comb. Yeah, they're probably gonna cross comb this one anyway. Probably. Solid brew behind it. Yep. Don't stick me on the eye, brow. <laughs> We 
we're not going to carry too much for the drones. I'm just going to cut this here and we're going to get them out of the way. Another thing is the Varroa mites like to lay their eggs in the drone cells. Mm -hmm. And uh, some beekeepers will put drone cells purposely in their hive and then cut them out to get rid of the Varroa mites. This was in here when the fire, uh, uh, when the house burned. I don't know how long ago it burned, but there's melted comb. It's halfway out, and there's still a whole hive worth. This is a good size one. I see the drowning warning, but you go check that bucket for an OSHA label. <laughs> <laughs> Try to fall probably. It's going to be heavy. I don't want it to flop over and sling bees over there. Okay. What I do with that, lay it right here on the top of the box. Bees will start crawling down into that groove. Greg jumping right in with no suit or nothing. Old newbie. Mm -hmm. Old newbie. <laughs> it has helped. I've hung out those highs over there a little bit. <laughs> Not a falling log that didn't bother me too bad. The bee whispers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to whisper at him with a chainsaw in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have it set on quiet though. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you got earplugs? <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I do. Their entrance hole is right there behind that trim. Oh man, did I cut it? Did I cut it off to uh no, sorry. Is that alright? Yep. Did I just leave it there? That's fine. Cage. You got your camera going? I got the cage right here. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's what I was telling you about leaving some comb up there, Greg. Because mm -hmm. she likes to hide up in it. Don't pinch her head off. I've done no, that before. No. <laughs> You've done that before? She sure did. Clean off. I got her. Mm. Let me go outside. Good job. Go outside so I can get a good shot of her. Found the queen! Woo! I found the queen! <laughs> they do know she's in there. Got her, Greg. You got her. <laughs> hey, Greg, look. I just put the queen on top. See the bees going to her? Mm -hmm. They're running straight back to mama. Job well done, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Blind, what was his name? <laughs> it wasn't blind Mella Jelly, that was from Sanford. You gonna do the song again? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Come out on the porch in, in the light so we can see you. So I had this little job to pull the bees out the wall. I wrote a little song about it. Wanna hear it? Here it goes. I had a little job to pull the bees out the wall. Got stung in my finger. That was our halftime entertainment. Now we're working on hive number two in the same house. Coming in behind the chimney. Chimney. Uh, behind the chimney. Here's our surroundings here. It's real busy intersection there. Surrounded by beautiful property. And this old house that probably was a good thing it burned. Is that the still Bee Whisperer 2000? <laughs> Hold it, Bee Whisperer 290. That's right. I reckon that chain's done. <laughs> Sorry, I got another one in the truck. Well, if that bottom plate will come loose, we can just swing that wall in. And true to form, we're working much later than we should be. The street lights are on. Like that. Mm -hmm. There it is. Woohoo! That's the fastest 
full hive removal I ever seen. <laughs> World's fastest bee hive removal. Good, there it is. All right. Now watch out for that. 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 Look at there, bees are going for a ride. Push it on up in there a little more. Now, Tommy, what are you going to do with this? Stand it up and make an observation hive. I'm going to take the plywood off the, the panel and off the inside of it here mm -hmm. and replace it with a piece of plexiglass. That's going to finish off our day here with two colonies, one in the box and one in that wall section. The one in the box is the one Greg was cutting out. That's going to be his first colony of bees. Is that right? Man. That's your first ones, huh? Yep. <laughs> Good way to get them. Don't want to mess her wings up. She might not be able to fly. <laughs> oh wait, we don't want her to fly. <laughs> Go ahead, baby, fan the wings. Dry that paint off. <laughs> Hurry, dry it. <laughs> so they can't get it off. The problem with this is, you mark all these workers. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like it's hard to identify the queen. There's like nine queens in there now. Looks like she's ready to go to the club. Mm -hmm. We don't typically get that much paint on the queen, but we're trying to be able to video her in the dark here. No harm, no foul, right? She's in. <laughs> Just hope she goes down. Alright, so that's it for 628 Dirt Rooster Channel. Good night.